In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to link scenes in the Blender game engine. First off, add a cube to your scene and place it in front of one of the pictures. Make sure that your player cube is set to dynamic under the physics tab. Add a new scene and place the picture on its own with some text. In the first scene, add game logic to the trigger cube. Choose near for the actuator and type player into the property field. Choose and and scene for the actuator. Choose set scene for the mode and select the other scene name. Select the player cube Choose Add Game Property and type Player. Remember this is case sensitive so it needs to be exactly the same as what you typed into the Mirror Actuator. Go to the second scene and add a keyboard sensor with the spacebar. Choose And and Scene. Choose Set Scene and select the first scene this time. In the first scene, select the trigger cube and under Dynamics, choose Invisible. Test the game. When the player touches the trigger cube, the second scene will load. When the player presses the spacebar in scene 2, scene 1 will restart. Repeat these steps for the other two pictures, so in the end you should have four scenes altogether.